Here we go for this first match of the semi-finals of this tournament against Beer Vampire. In my opinion, Beer Vampire was by far the favorite in this tournament because it's a really aggressive and really fast player and he was definitely scaring everyone during the tournament. That's why I picked Clash of Heroes, which is by far the map I prefer in the entire map pool. I had prepared very specific strategies and cheeses, uh, especially for this kind of situation where I'm the outsider in the best of three. And I'm starting the best of three with this so that uh, if I win, I'm definitely confident for the rest of the best of three. Um, this time on this map, I'm going for a quick layer because you have already three channelers and they require their own layer tiles. You want to have a big layer quickly to be able to attract several creatures and here I'm especially going for wizards, fairies. I have two things in mind particularly to win this map. First one is uh, going for samurai very quickly. So I will need barracks, torture room, training room. And for this I will require a lot of um, fairies and wizards. So I definitely need uh, one or even two libraries. The first, second thing is to make some use of the hero creatures that are on the hero fortress for uh, on, on each player's side. Uh, there are several creatures that we will see later in the game. Some are guarding the hero fortress on guard posts and some are uh, stuck behind locked doors. The idea will be to release some of them to bother my opponent and see what I can get with this situation. I'm getting a thief. Not really great, but uh, I should have built my dungeon differently and uh, just uh, build a big library right at the start with a lair so that uh, the odds to, to get wizards would be better. I'm getting a wizard quickly. The problem is that even at level 1 the wizard will uh, start shooting on all creatures that are not researchers so they are going to shoot on my uh, thief, tunnelers, imps, etc. That's why I would need perhaps two different libraries. Here a beer vampire dropped an imp near my second portal. That's why a fight is triggered but after that he just picked his imp and the aggression stopped. Got a fairy as a third creature which is pretty good. I'm going for the possession spell as well. Going for an additional treasure room. I'm mining a bit of everything and that's not really efficient. I should have mined uh, the two gold gems entirely with a dedicated uh, treasure room and then going for the gem. Gold veins first, then the gem. The gold is definitely mined uh, more quickly and gives way more gold at the start when you require to build your first five. Getting much more researchers, I'm quite happy. But my yeah, my thief will be kicked out of the library because of the wizard. I'm training the wizard. I haven't um, reinforced the walls yet. It's very important to reinforce the walls of the training room to increase the training efficiency. And especially on this map because you do not have a lot of gold. Once the warlocks are, uh, wizards are level 2, I'm dropping them in the, in the library again. Activating the must obey as quickly as possible. Summoning a lot of imps. I don't know how many imps I have. 11, yeah that's quite a lot. I think on this map you want to have 9, because you can put like 9 imps on the on the gem, not more. And you can make uh, some use of the, the free channelers to reinforce while the imps are mining gold. And then you send uh, in the portal back the free channelers that you free some uh, spots to have more creatures. Here, Beer I just scouted my entire dungeon. Yes, with an imp in possession. And yeah, he, he dug a, a way through my left treasure room, so I have all the visibility on my dungeon now. 
I put some imps reinforcing the training room, but they, yeah, that does tunnelers, but they are very annoying because the tunnelers are really bad imps, and they started reinforcing other walls, especially in the hatchery. I will do the same, trying to do the same. Uh, yeah, I'm not scouting there, I'm preparing the cheese based on the hero fortress. So I will dig on beer site a tunnel between his hero fortress and almost his side. I know that he's just behind the, the way I dug because he's mining the gem already. Chasing an imp that was trying to enter my dungeon. I'm also pushing a lot of training on the, this giant. It will be really useful for what I'm plan to do. This will be a second library. Yes, this will be a second library, I guess, because my first library is already full. Because I have seven researchers already. I'm not training the fairies because they, they take too much time to train and they are really weak. You can kill them with a single lightning strike. So I just, yeah, I see that beer uh, claimed the the area I dug between his tre uh, treasure room, his gem, and uh, the hero fortress. I put some guard posts. That will be useful later. I'm waiting for my giant to be level 4 and I need that to do the trick. I'm going for my second library, I need to increase my research speed because I have idols, um, idol warlock, uh, war wizards and um, fairies. And the quick bonus on what I did on the top of the map is that some imps from Beer Vampire will try endlessly to claim area near the enemy heroes and they will get eventually killed by the heroes. There are four heroes guarding the hero fortress. There is a um, warlock, druid, vampire and dragon if I remember correctly. Now my Giant is level 4, I will rush. The idea is to rush through the guardians of the hero fortress and to break a specific door, which is hiding a level 8 or 7 mistress. The idea is to be quite fast. Here the DPS is too important and I'm losing my giant, but it's okay, I released the mistress. That was my main objective. And because I put some guard posts, the mistress won't be able to reach my dungeon and so she will go for beer vampire dungeon and he's not aware of it yet and it's difficult to handle a level like mistress at the very beginning of the of the game well, it's the mid game but you do not have the the firepower to handle with uh, such a powerful creature at this time also, I'm going uh, quite hard in research. I see that the mistress, the level 8 mistress, is starting to inflict a lot of damage. And at the same time, because Beer will be busy trying to handle this uh, problem, I will go with a sped up and invisible imp in his dungeon to scout everything and see what's going on. I see a lot of corpses, so the mistress started doing a rampage in Beer's dungeon. Killing another imps there. I'm scouting everything. As much as possible at least. Getting the torture room. And the barracks as well. I'm just matching the requirements to get uh, the samurai. Okay, increase the bit the, the torture room. To increase the odds to get samurai. I'm using the cave in to cancel and to put out of combat most of the creatures from Beer Vampire, trying to create a lot of mess and to get as much value as possible of this level 8 mistress I released. And here I'm using the cave in that will uh, make the mistress go back to his spawn, so I'm disengaging the, the fight somehow. 
keeping in mind that the mistress will come back to eat beer vampire a bit later. At the same time, I can still go further with my research. I nearly have the um, lightning strike spell. Here I thought about releasing the second mistress to send her in beer dungeon as well, but I was like, mm, one is enough. Also going for a temple, sacrificing imps. And before sacrificing imps, because they are mining, I'll drop them in the treasure room so that they will drop their gold. So that I'm optimizing somehow the spell has been researched. the resources. The mistress just died, and now because all the creatures from the vampire are grouped, I will kill them with two precise lightning strikes. So for 6k gold, I just get rid of a lot of creatures for my opponent. What I could have done to be even better in the sacrifice of the imps is to pick 8 imps and sacrifice all of them. I just sacrificed 5, but I could have sacrificed uh, 8 and just produce the imps. The cheaper the imps, the better. Now I'm training my giants, but no... No samurai for the moment, quite unlucky. I got uh, an archer because I had guard post that I used to block the pathfinding of enemy mistress. I think I just got... No, I got a monk before the samurai. Sounds like deja vu. And here I'm just waiting, because the first part was to weaken the vampire a lot with this uh, mistress released, but if I do not get any samurai, it would be quite uh, harder to go through this dungeon. Because as a reminder, you do not have any bridge, you can't research the bridge, so you have to go through the hero fortress. And as you may have seen in the hero fortress, you have level 8 uh, druids, vampire, dragon, and Warlock, so you you need quite uh, an army to go through them, or just use a lot a ton of uh, lightning strike. But that's quite uh, cold consuming. Here, I suspect that the vampire has marked some tiles to be dug on my side because imps are coming a lot on my way. But that's not really an issue. I know that he's behind in terms of creatures and research because he lost a lot. But I could have blocked this way, so that all his imps would have um, go mining in the in his gem, and with uh, some lightning strikes, I could have get rid of all of his imps, destroying entirely his economy, sacrificing more imps. I noticed that uh, he tried to do the same, digging the way between my treasure room and the. Hero Fortress, my Hero Fortress this time. My Warlock, uh, my um, Samurai is level 4, I got a Time Mage as well. I'm thinking about using Lightning Strike in this creature, I see that level 1, level 2, so it's definitely not worth it. If he had like level 4 fairies, I would definitely have uh, put some Lightning Strikes on them to remove them from the game. Killing imps with lightning strike. This is something really powerful on this map. If you're the first one to get both temple and um, lightning strike, you can just destroy the economy of uh, your opponent because there is only one efficient way to get gold, and this is the only gem you have. You can also use the workshop and put your creatures in the workshop, but doing that, you are not training them, and if your opponent decides to go front face, uh, you are just dead. So. It's annoying. The best creature the vampire has there is a level 5 giant. So it's definitely not a problem. My wizard, uh, my uh, samurai, definitely calling him a wizard or warlock. I don't know why. This samurai is going level 6. I will use him to go push. The mistake I made there is if you put a creature on a guard post, it won't follow the call of the call to arms. So I had to switch positions and drop them outside of the guard post. And I'm just pushing with a single creature in the Beer Vampire dungeon. Yeah. 
Yeah, the level 6 and the level 6, six barbarians. 6 and 5, yeah. And I'm waiting for B Vampire to drop all his creatures to defend and I could I will kill, be able to kill a lot of them with the lightning strikes. And this is exactly what he's doing, so I'm pretty happy. I got what I did. I could have committed and used the more gold to like um, heal my samurai, keep the lightning strikes, and it would have won the the thing. But uh, yeah, instead of this, I'm doing this in a slower way, just picking my samurai, dropping him back. Also using the protect monster in case he has a. Uh, some lightning strikes because samurai do not have a lot of HP they are quite fragile but they inflict a lot of damage and the vampire was really really surprised about the mistress crushed him uh, we'll go for a bit of possession there using a lot of lightning strikes um, lightning creature spell from the samurai to just kill everything remaining and now I think I killed the last creature he had at least the last level creature he had and that's basically it the plan uh, went as expected the uh, mistress did a great job I had the um, lightning strike keeper spell at the good time so I was able to kill a lot of fear vampire creatures and then the samurai which is definitely one of the best hero creatures you can have, so... Pretty cool thing. I have a nice overview of the map. With the two hero fortress in the bottom left and the top right. Possessing the samurai so that he will destroy the dungeon heart more quickly. There is a level 2 bar um, barbarian that follows my samurais because he was attracted by the fight. And that's it. GG.